Earth has had major climatic disasters that nearly wiped out life completely. Perhaps a similar disaster was successful on one of these other worlds and killed it. But even with these events befalling some of our candidate planets, there should still be 25 or more potential civilizations. So, you'd think there'd be plenty of opportunities for life to evolve somewhere else and maybe swing by the Earth or at least call on the radio. But we haven't found any alien monoliths or beer cans or cigarette ends and we have not heard them tweeting on the radio either. So, where are they? There are lots of theories about that, but I'm gonna concentrate on the more plausible ones. First of all, there's the water trap. Maybe the worlds that have water on them are all ocean, for the most part. And if that's the case, you can't discover combustion, you can't make metals, so you can't make a radio or a spaceship. If our dolphin friends lived on an ocean planet, they would be stuck where they are, in the Stone Age, forever. Or maybe on a planet that has dry land but no metals, or very few metals. Same problem, you can't develop a technology. And how about the difficulty of interstellar travel? Maybe it's just too hard. It looks like a real challenge for us. It could be a couple of hundred years before we try that. Maybe it's just too hard. And then there's another theory, which is that we could be the first. We could be the first intelligence to evolve in this part of the galaxy. Someone has to be. We could be the elder race. So here's a time history of Earth. When you look at all the time that life has been here, nearly four billion years, humans have only been around for a couple of hundred thousand years, civilization for about 6,000 years, depending how you count it, and our technical era only for 200 years. When you look at this picture, it is obvious that the most likely first alien life forms that we discover will not be intelligent. They will be somewhere back here equivalent to life on Earth during the first three billion years of evolution. Similarly, nearby life on an exoplanet is probably plodding its way up the evolutionary ladder. Remember how long it took us to get where we are, where we could even think about life elsewhere. We Earthlings have the prime real estate in our solar system. We may well be alone for the moment in our section of the galaxy, the only ones with space travel. If so, we need to take care of our planet and our civilization, and stick around long enough to see other intelligences and civilizations emerge over the coming millions of years on those 25 nearby planets.